There I was, preparing an ambush on the vengeful crew that had been chasing our sloop across the high seas. We had lured them to the Reaper's hideout, and my mission was to launch a surprise attack and cause chaos on board so that my crewmate could circle around and barrage them with cannon fire. I was going in one versus two with the enemy having the defensive advantage, and failure was not an option. But, before I tell you what happened next, I need to explain how I got into this mess in the first place. My day started out peacefully. I awoke from my slumber at the Galleon's grave outpost and stumbled my way out to the sloop that awaited me. After slovenly painting it green and gold, I set sail with no destination in mind, just looking for supplies and scouting for something to do. After helping myself to one of the finely crafted rowboats abandoned on the island, I decided to head back to the outpost and start a gold hoarder quest to give me something to do while waiting for some action. Now, I was talking to myself as I was sailing back. I can't help it, it's literally my job to talk to myself in a room, alone. Uh, alone? Anyways, my monologue was rudely interrupted by, well, you'll see. <laughs> Funny thing, I just crashed into that seat post. I was looking at the footage, reviewing it to make sure everything was working good. And it is looking marvelous, by the way. And yeah, I just crashed. <laughs> was not looking where I was going, slammed right into the dock. Only got one hole though, it's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna head to the sea post now and get a gold hoarder quest just because I feel like it. We'll do. I literally, as I explained that. Okay, well. The Kraken! Now, unlike Dredge's pathetic Kraken from Paladins, this one is a real threat and would plunge my vessel deep into the abyss if oh. I didn't fight back. So, I took to the cannons and started shooting and had to take many a break to repair my ship from the damage it had done. There's some loot in the way. Hello. Hey, take your filthy inky water back, you cracking idiot. Crackling idiot brand. After a long battle with the great beast, I managed to scare it off and take two of its tantalizing tentacles down only to be rewarded with a crappy skull and a crate of rocks. But loot is loot, and so I brought it aboard and went to the outpost to sell and set off on my quest. Now, the particular quest I chose to go after required me to dig up some chests near some daunting volcanoes, posing a high risk to myself and my ship if I wasn't careful. However, the chests would be extremely valuable if I could hand them in, so there was an equally high payout for the risk I had to undertake. However, this also meant that any ship I came across would likely try to sink me and take my loot, or would have valuable loot on board themselves. So, I had to be on guard and look out for any ships on the horizon. I approached the first island and dug up my chests with relative ease. I got back on my ship and set sail, and spotted something lucrative in the distance, a reaper chest. Reaper chests can be quite valuable, and they're often accompanied by some other treasure since they're found on sunken ships, which is an omen for what might happen to the crew who dares carry the chests on their deck. You see, the reaper chest also reveals the ship which is carrying it on the map, making whoever carries it a prime target to be hunted. I decided that I would try and claim this chest as my own, but before I could do that, I had to fight off the skeleton sloop that spawned right on top of it, almost like it was a boss that I had to defeat if I wanted to steal the chest. You've gotta be kidding me. Right on top of the reaper chest. I don't think that was an anchor ball though. I gotta go in on pairs, that doesn't sound very good. Actually, I think I'm fine. Luckily, skeleton sloops are some of the easiest threats to deal with on the high seas, and it fell after a swift broadside from my starboard cannon. I quickly scooped up all the loot from the skeleton sloop and recovered what I could from the sunken ship with the reaper chest. However, when I got back on my ship, I noticed something in the distance. A galleon was approaching. Galleons are the most fearsome ships on the ocean, with the largest crews and the deadliest broadsides out of any ship. However, they are not unstoppable, and I had a few advantages going for me. First of all, I saw them when they were far away, so I had time to lower my sails and force them to chase me. Second, they are hard to manage, so if I were to outsmart them, I'd stand a chance if I had to fight. 
Third, they're the slowest ship when traveling against the wind, so if I didn't want to fight them, all I had to do was run against the wind and my sloop would gain some distance on them. All these thoughts were circling through my head as I steered my vessel away from them. Going up against this crew in direct naval combat was incredibly risky, so I needed to attack them with proper timing and positioning, or try and distract them so that they would turn their attention away from me. Now, since they appeared on the horizon right as I had scooped up the reaper chest, that meant that they were likely just going after the reaper chest themselves, and didn't realize that I had beat them to it until they got closer. So, a plan formed in my mind. I decided that the reaper chest wasn't worth losing my ship over, and that I should simply just drop it overboard. Now, dropping it would mean two things. First, they might just see the chest in the water and stop chasing me to pick it up. Second, even if they kept up the chase, they would have a harder time following me since the chest wouldn't be giving me away on the map. So it was a sacrifice that I decided to make, but I might not have needed to. You see, just after I did that, a friend of mine decided to join my crew. He and I had gone on a few journeys before, and he saw that I was out sailing again and was looking for some action. He was a trustworthy crew member who was solid at every aspect of fighting an enemy vessel, and I was glad to have him on board. After telling him what had happened, he decided he would try to board them and anchor them, which was an excellent plan. I would have done it myself earlier if I wasn't the only one piloting my ship. So he blasted away and I watched as their ship violently jerked to the right in the water, indicating a successful anchor. He came back a few moments later, proudly telling me how he might have made them mad. However, it appears that they finally noticed that the reaper chest was in the water, and went back for it instead of chasing us further. We had successfully gotten them off our tail. So, we sailed north for the ancient spire outpost, and on our way there, we noticed that a fellow gold hoarder had parked himself at the Devil's Ridge, just directly to the south. After selling our loot, we set sail through the storm with devious thoughts circling in our heads. It could be horrible people. It would be a real shame if something happened to their loot. If some nefarious pirates came and took it. Oh, that would never happen, right? We were going to sink their ship and claim all their loot as our own, then sell it for a pretty penny back at the outpost. We didn't know how good they would be at PvP, but we felt confident enough in our own skills to take them on. Alright. I'm gonna go get on their ship. Oh! Oh, the storm! Oh, that's perfect! It just... <laughs> just lit it on fire! Alright. I made an unsuccessful boarding attempt, but still managed to light their ship on fire before climbing back aboard. The chase was on. They led us through the storm before turning back around and greeting us with a hefty number of cannonballs and chain shots. Order. Inbound. Greetings. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, you hit us. Nice job. They were unrelenting in their defense of their boat, but we were unrelenting in our attack. Eventually, both of our ships had their masts down, and it was time for my favorite part, the board. You're dying, that's what's going on. Reviving you? Did you come back up though? No? That's it. We're done. That's it. GG's guys. Being the respectful pirate I am, I said GG's before proceeding to help my crewmate harpoon all the stolen loot onto our deck. Now, we knew that they were probably going to come back to try and take all the loot back, so we had to be quick. But of course, the outpost was really close by, and so chances were high that we could sell all the loot before we had to fight them again. However, there was one piece of loot that required us to travel all the way to the Reaper's hideout, their Grade 4 Emissary Flag. This was the most valuable piece of treasure they had on board, and the reason we sunk them in the first place. You see, if a ship raises an Emissary Flag, the level of that flag will increase based on how much treasure they can get their hands on. If they sell treasure with a high level flag, they'll earn way more money than usual. 
However, that flag also makes them a target for other players to sink them, because the Reaper will pay thousands of gold pieces for every flag turned in, especially the high level ones. So, we had one final destination after we sold all the loot at the outpost, but they wouldn't let us get away with it that easily. Oh hey, guess who's back? Hey, we should probably hurry up. They were on our tails, and tried to board our ship as we were leaving the outpost. I bravely carried on through the fire and flames while my partner in crime tried to board their foolishly parked vessel. However, he was unable to as they quickly raised anchor to give chase to our sloop. Now, we decided that we were going to handle this encounter a bit differently. We were on the run this time, and we were all too familiar with the environment at Reaper's Hideout. After all, we went on an even more incredible voyage climaxing at the outpost, which I wrote a full 12-page story about, but unfortunately never recorded. So, we were going to sell the flag and set up an ambush. My friend piloted us close to the shores of the hideout, and I jumped off with flag in hand. I quickly sold it to the Reaper before climbing up onto one of the cannon towers. With bated breath, I watched and waited for their sloop to get in my sights as our vessel continued drifting away from me. I peppered them with cannon fire before jumping on their boat to prevent them from repairing. I don't know, man. That's just... Yeah, that's just... Oh, fuck. Why aren't you getting on, getting on the cannon? No, I don't know. Hello again. Their ship went down fast because they had sent a crewmate over to the island to search for me. Ah, hello. Being experienced in the art of hand-to-hand -hand combat, I struck him down with ease. And thus ends this epic tale on the Sea of Thieves. We sailed on over to a nearby sea post to sell some of the delicious food we'd gathered along the way, and I left the crew so I could write this story down and relax with Suds and Sarek. But that's not where my journey ends, for there are many more legendary voyages to be had for me on the Sea of Thieves. So, if you enjoyed this story and want to see more, then please like this video and subscribe to the channel, and maybe I'll release more of these epic tales in the future. I had a lot of fun making this video and I love going on adventures in this game, because they're always unique and riveting voyages that drive my friends crazy with how much I write about them. They're so much fun that I thought you might enjoy them too, so I started recording one of my sessions and hey, look what happened. So, please let me know if you want to see more in the comments down below, and maybe join the Discord server and follow me on Twitch too if you're interested. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, I will see you all next time. Peace out.